This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. In this video, I'm going to show you a cool and easy way to make those bright glowing edges in your Photoshop imagery. Let's get started. Hey guys. So this is going to be the first installment to a new series that I'm doing called Quick Tuts. Yeah, very creative, I know. But anyway, the whole point of it is to kind of show a little bit of how I work and the little techniques that I do, and maybe you guys can get a little bit of knowledge from how I work. Anyway, I'm going to show you how I do my edge glows. You know, those little glows that everybody likes to uh, draw in with their Wacom tablet. I have found that is a great way of doing it and it's very accurate, but if you're like in a time crunch, I have found that if you use an inner shadow or an inner glow and turn it into its own layer, that is a much faster way of getting a basic outline glow. And I will show you what I'm talking about right now. So, I already started this file and I am this is basically what is going to happen. I have already went in and done this and it looks pretty good. But I did not do that with a Wacom tablet by painting it in around the edges. So what I did, I went into layer styles, I picked an inner shadow, and I set it to linear dodge, and I got this really bright green color. And I brought the size all the way down and then I made sure the lighting was coming from the top like the lighting that you see on the canvas and I brought it down a little bit so it looks like there's an actual glow so once I got that I bring the size up just a little bit to make it a little bit more realistic looking yeah that looks pretty good So, already, that's not bad, but you can see that it put the, the color also on the shadow, and that's definitely not realistic. So, the next thing I do is I click out of that, and then I right click on the effects panel, and I come down here to this create layer panel. And once you do that, it takes the inner shadow that you just made and turned it into its own separate layer. And now you can directly uh, manipulate this in any way you want. So what I do is I start off with a reversed out layer mask and that gets rid of all the color. So then I take my pen and then I brush in the spots that I want to see. So just take a soft white brush and just brush it back in. Wait, stop. Let's talk about today's sponsor. Envato Elements, as most of you already know, is a huge collection of stock photos, videos, fonts, brushes, templates, infographics, and much, much more. I personally use many of the brushes and fonts that Envato Elements has to offer on a daily basis. And, not to mention, they have an amazing 3D imagery section. You can just rotate to a perfect angle and download with a transparent background. No masking required. Amazing. Click on the link down below to start your subscription. Now let's get back to the video. And this way, you don't have to go back and forth uh, while you're painting and erase over painting that you do while you're um, making these edges. It's got a very set point so you can't overdo it at all. It's already set in place. You just have to brush back in the little bits and pieces that you want. So yeah, you just follow the outline and just try not to get any on that shadow so it doesn't look unrealistic. Get this little part right here. A little bit down here. But on that other edge. And, oops, we don't want that. And that's looking pretty good. And that didn't take hardly any time at all. Compared to that, it now looks very realistic. 
Now one thing else I sometimes do, depending on how bright or how dark the image is, I will also use the Blend If panel. And I almost always use this underline layer one to blend my colors. So for this one, I'll probably just use the black slider and split it with the Option key. It's even more fine-tuned if you do it that way compared to this, if you pull the whole thing. So the whole thing will just take out a lot of it. But if you split it with the Option key, it gets a lot more refined. So just bring it in just a hair. And then it starts to go into the noisy areas of the flies, hair, and all that good stuff. But other than that, that is pretty much how I liked to do my basic edge glows, and it's very quick. So, hope that helps. Thanks, guys.